Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to Scale Addiction. So in the previous video, when I showed the build of this 2JZ engine and I will be using for the Supra project, which is fully electrical. But some of you have been telling me that make these pulleys spinnable and working just like a real car when you open the hood and these pulleys working. I was like, yeah, it will be a cool idea because we don't have any engine over there, but putting this model engine over there and with working pulleys, that will be cool. So I had to order some small bearings and do some testing because I didn't want to put any motor over there and stop us from twisting the pulleys over there and gives you a problem. I was thinking to put a servo with the servo you have metal gears and it will overcome the resistance of the belts and not gonna have any problem with twisting but with servo you have a problem either it's 360 or 90 degrees and then it will stop so i was thinking to make it a continuous rotation and then put it over there and i don't want to show any motor over there so i was thinking to put the servo over there in the block and be hidden only the wires comes out here but yeah i'm thinking about using 9 gram servo it has a decent torque for twisting these pulleys but yeah th this is what i'm thinking so let's get on the sketchup and do the designing of the block and redesigning the pulleys for the bearing This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Here's all the files are 3D printed and you can be creative with the colors however you like. So we will need a 9 gram servo and with a 9 gram servo it has a degree. This one is 360 but we're gonna have to make it continuous because it works like this and we're gonna have to make it continuous and without stopping. So what we're gonna do we can open it and then we will cut this D shape area so it doesn't be connected with the potentiometer and then we will cut this pin so it's not limiting the gear and it will be rotating like this so it will be like this so along with the servo we will need these screws and I will put the sizes here and also a magnet for the cover but yeah now we're gonna put it together and see how it works
All right, the engine is fully assembled, only four screws remaining, and that is for the intercooler and the pipes. When we put it on the chassis, then we're gonna put it on. Now I can't put it because the intercooler pipes going through the chassis. So I will leave it like this until we assemble the car. Now we're gonna connect this wire with the ESC, and for that we will need a wire connector wire, so it will be running with the back motor. But I was thinking to put a switch, so I can stop the back motor and only this one running when the car is stopping just like a revving up. But yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, let me guys know what do you guys think about this idea. Should I put it or it doesn't need it? Alright, let's give it a try and see how it's running. I'm really happy about the exhaust even though it's not continuous to the back but in the hood it can show only that much and it gives a good detail so I'm really happy about it. So for this project I'm not gonna be using this controller it's a bit hard to control the car with this pistol style will be way better so I ordered Dumbo RC it is cheap but it's functional and also has a gyro which that is what we need for this for speeding and also drifting. I have all the files completed and yesterday I've been working on this wire tray so when we have the wire over here I don't want to use any zip tie I want to be hidden and everything organize it. I also made this electronic box which everything will be waterproof and at the bottom it will be held on with two screws and here for the cover one screw so it will be easy access whenever you need to swap a wire or something. But you are free to use any of these on your project. This will be cool because it's rotating and this will be without rotation and it will be less expensive let's say. You have both options and I will put it in the video description box below. For the next video we will be assembling everything when the controller arrives. All the files will be in the video description box below if you want to build the same thing. Even if you are using just like a cage style, you can put a Lexan body on it. But if you want to drive it like this, it's cool as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the project. If you did, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.